everyone you welcome back to health to come friends youtube channel how are you doing today i hope you're fine because your friend here is fine and she's very happy she's got something to share with you today please enjoy today's episode of health awareness creation okay what is it we want to talk about today we want to talk about the management of animal bites particularly snake bites you may be wondering why do we need to talk about snake bites today you may not have been a victim or may not have seen one bitten by a snake but i tell you every day people are bitten by snakes and a lot of people die as a result of snake bites would you believe that world health organization reveals that five million people yearly are bitten by snakes worldwide and 100 to 200 thousand out of this five million results in death and 400 thousand results in amputation of the beaten parts yeah with majority happening in Africa and Southeast Asia. Okay, now let's come home. Statistics reveals that in Nigeria, 1 million people are bitten by snakes every year. And 20,000 out of this result in death. 20,000 cases out of this result in death. I mean, out of 100,000 admission yearly, 174 cases are snake bites related, with the highest incidence happening at Taraba State and the highest frequency at Jigawa State. I mean, this is a call for concern. And you would agree with me that if these people, these victims, had known um, first aid measures to apply early enough, then it would have gone a long way saving their lives. So don't worry today, we're going to look at the proper face and measures that could be employed to save a snake bite victim. Okay, let's look at the indicators of snake bites. Now, it is one thing to be able to manage snake bites. It's another thing to know when there's a snake bite and not call it um, something else. Now, what are those indicators? What are the signs and symptoms of snake bites? Talking about the local symptoms, local signs and symptoms, there's the signs and symptoms uh, that are seen, that manifest at the site of the wound. Number one, when bitten by a venomous snake, there's a poisonous snake, you notice two fangs, two punctures. But if bitten by a non-venomous snake, you only notice two rows of teeth. That's the most obvious sign. Another thing is reddening of the spots of the uh, area, swelling, there's a tenderness, there's pain. You feel pain at, the, at that side, not just any pain, but burning pain at the site. There's bleeding, depending, the, the amount of bleeding depends on the extent of the injury. If there was so much bruising, then you could expect profuse bleeding. Okay, let's talk about systemic effects. It's, uh, we've talked about the local effects, what you see at the uh, area of the injury. Now let's talk about what happens, what happens within. There's difficulty breathing. There's loss of consciousness, especially at the face, numbness of the face and um, numbness of the mouth too. There's, you, you feel an odd taste in the mouth. Also, there's headache. There's, there's increase in heart rates. At that point due to anxiety okay now you of course we know prevention is cheaper and easier than kill let's see how we could prevent snake bites I, I don't want us to talk about the management first the prevention first because we should try at all times to prevent snake bites because prevention is cheaper and easier also better than kill now that's uh, there are four steps to preventing snake bites number one is recognition of common habitats you have to recognize the common habitats of snakes and avoid them. You, you, you could find snakes living under rocks, you could find them li living uh, under woods. Uh, in Snakes are very successful anim uh, reptiles, they, they thrive everywhere, they thrive almost everywhere. In the sea, in, in thick vegetations, in grasslands, in the forest, on lands, they, in swamps, they survive. So you have to avoid uh, thick bushes, you have to avoid uh, thick vegetation, you have to avoid overgrown grass areas, you have to avoid these areas. You need to recognize the common habitats of snakes and avoid them. You also need to, you, you need not to be a contributor to uh, the snake habitats. Clear, by clearing the bushes around you, keep, always keep your grasses low, in order to avoid snake habitation. The second thing is recognition of 
species you have to recognize species now different species of snakes live at different places the most dangerous snakes live in denser areas than the odd than others you have to maybe some of us our occupation takes us out keeps us in the uh, in areas where we could be we are exposed to snakes now if you must if you must work in an area where you're exposed to snake it is better you work in those areas where you know the very wild and of course venomous snakes are not present because if you must be bitten by a snake it shouldn't be by a venomous snake Number three is safe approach. Now, you may encounter a snake. When you encounter a snake, keep still, I mean be quiet, and try to back away slowly. You have to retreat slowly because snakes will always strike when they feel threatened. When they feel threatened, they will definitely strike. And snakes are able to strike from distance longer than their body length so you have to be quiet when you meet a snake don't just be still just be calm and retreat then you can attack when the snake when you're off the scene you can attack when you're off when you're off the scene but it's better you just leave them alone because they will definitely strike at all costs in self-defense when they're threatened number four is use of protective clothing yeah, you may have to work in the bush, you may have to go where snakes are common. Try to use boots, try to use long pants, try to use thick gloves when you have to work with your hands. By doing this, you'll be protecting yourself from snake bites. Yeah. Okay, now let's look at the management of snake bites. Should it occur after trying to prevent, should it, should it um, occur? There are certain things you need to do. There are certain face head measures you need to do to save a life. Maybe you may be a savior at the scene. You may be the victim. But these are things you need to do. Number one, secure the area. How do you secure the area? Move the victim away from the scene. If you are uh, in, in, a position of, in a position to save the victim, move the victim away from the scene and be sure there are no other snakes around sometimes snakes go in groups so you have to be sure there's no other snake around don't try to attack the snake while the victim is still there to prevent further bites incurring by a snake by bite yourself or, or the victim that's number one number two identify the snake maybe the victim saw the snake maybe you you may have seen it too but you need to take note of the shape the color and the size of the snake because this information will help the medical professional in instituting the most effective care number three calm the victim of course snake bite comes with fear it comes with this terror you feel like ah oh, um i've been bitten by a serpent oh definitely death will come. No, you need to reassure the victim that only f about 15% of snakes are venomous and not all venomous snakes inject their venoms when they bite. Some only offer dry bites. So you have to reassure the victim because the more anxious the victim is, the faster the spread of the venom. So it is important that the, the victim remains calm. I know it, it may be difficult, but you just need to try. And also position the, the affected part in such a way that it's below the level of the heart. This will slow venous return as spread of the poison to the heart because some venom are cardiotoxic. This means they, have, they affect the heart. So keeping the affected parts lower than the, the heart, at the level lower than the heart, will prevent the spread uh, uh, the spread of will slow down the spread of the venom number three contact the closest health personnel you need to contact the closest health personnel for early medical intervention the earlier the better please do all of this uh, apply these first aid measures and you will save a life today thank you so much um if you have not subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe and turn on your post notification bells to get notifications every friday thank you so much see you next friday bye